Over the years, we've rendered some really great work by our amazing customers over at garagefarm.net. And by popular demand, we've recently added GP nodes over at our farm. During the quieter period of the past month, we decided to make some comparisons between CPU and GPU rendering using our farm and a server from Sestop, our sister company. We used an interior scene made by DJ as our test project and we'll be going over the test process and results in this short video. So first we wanted to see what the difference in render time would be for our fastest CPU node and one of Sestop's fastest servers. We wanted to simulate rendering locally uh, on a single machine. So we rendered every 40th frame of the sequence in DJ scene. The next test involved pitting Garage Farm CPU nodes against the GPU nodes on the same setup, but at full range this time. All 490 frames were rendered on the CPU nodes at an average time per frame of 15 minutes and 59 seconds, while on the GPU nodes each frame rendered at an average time of 4 minutes and 56 seconds. On the farm, we use average time per frame for these tests to rule out factors affecting the elapsed time of the jobs outside of hardware capability, such as how many nodes were available at the time each job was rendering. So here are the results in summary, and it's clear that in typical scenarios, GPU rendering wins by a long shot. Of course, the time differences will change uh, on a case-to-case -case basis. Anyway, this was us geeking out on our new hardware. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, thanks for watching.